I'm a board certified family physician and I practice in Henderson, Nevada. And I had been a relatively cultural vegetarian for my whole life. I'd, I'd never had a piece of meat in my life and uh, thought that that was pretty much all it would take to be healthy for the rest of my life. And I'd practice medicine and I'd diagnose people with, you know, heart disease or diabetes or other things like that. And I watched my dad get diabetes and, and get very sick from it and ended up uh, getting other illnesses that took his life. And I thought I was protected from that because I was a vegetarian and being a vegetarian was going to always keep me safe. And then my son was born. And he was born and I, of course, then had to get insurance physical to see, you know, how big of a policy we could get. And so they did my insurance physical and, you know, the tech is drawing the blood and everything. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, this is, this is always just a formality, you know, I knew I was sure I was going to be fine. Got the lab test results back and I had elevated liver enzymes. And, you know, no obvious reason for it except I was, you know, about 50, 60 pounds overweight. And so went ahead and did an ultrasound of my abdomen and did some other workup and turns out I had a fatty liver. Well, I was very surprised and very unhappy because, you know, I treated fatty liver. I didn't get fatty liver. And I just wasn't happy with with the situation. And my wife was not happy either. And she had gone through a lot of health problems with her family members. And she, for some reason, had gotten a hold of the idea that we needed to watch this movie, Forks Over Knives. So she made me sit down and watch Forks Over Knives. And I watched it, and, and a lot of it, you know, having been a vegetarian my whole life, I was like, yeah, of course, well, that's good. Yeah, but some of it, I was, I was thinking, this is impossible. I, you know, I'm a practicing doctor, I know a little bit about medicine here, and, and this can't be right. So I came away from it thinking, I'm going to have to find out why it's wrong. <laughs> so, I, you know, I went to, you know, the scientific literature and the research and all the things that were available and tried to figure out, you know, where did they get this story quite, not quite right in Forks Over Knives. And I kept looking and kept looking and couldn't find it. And you know, the more and more I looked into it, the more accurate it seemed uh, to the point where we really did start completely changing around our diet, changed a lot of things around. And then uh, in the process of investigating the whole thing, I came across Dr. McDougall's book, The Starch Solution. And I think the Starch Solution sort of for me was like the scales came from my eyes and it sort of clarified for me how to view the problem and I could see it in a way that I had not seen it before. And that really sort of revelatory for me. And that brought me and my wife up here uh, for an advanced study weekend. And my wife had been having terrible headaches that just wouldn't go away. Nothing would make them go away. We couldn't figure them out. And we had, we had given up all animal products, no problem. That was easy. But we hadn't really fully given up all of our oils or processed foods or some other things like that. And she came up here, and for the whole weekend, she didn't have a single headache. <laughs> she was thrilled. So we kind of became much more strict about the McDougal program and stuck with the no oil pattern, and her headaches went away. And the only time she would get them was if she'd eaten something that had some oil in it or something. And, uh, you know, I think none of us go our whole lives never having any health problems, but the number of health problems we had dropped dramatically. My fatty liver went away. You know, I lost 45 pounds and kept it off. Um, my wife had been pregnant right before, so she had all of her pregnancy weight on. She went from over 200 pounds down to under 130 pounds and uh, cured her chronic headaches. Um, you know, my son is now three and a half years old and he is just a bright, active, wonderful kid. Uh, so fantastic and has been so healthy growing through all this. The Start Solution really clarified for me uh, something that I hadn't really fully understood when I was just investigating it by myself. And that was that there is a subset of people, and Dr. McDougall's experience in Hawaii was sort of the, the mindset that got me into this. There's a subset of people who don't develop chronic diseases. The existence of those people is, is largely hidden from modern medicine because modern medicine doesn't interact with those people. A modern doctor just sees people who are 
very sick, mildly sick, or moderately sick. But he doesn't see anybody who's pretty much normal across the board unless he's really lucky or that patient, you know, that patient's the one in a thousand who he doesn't pay much attention to. So the thought that there could be an entire population of people who did not suffer from obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart attack, those sorts of things, really wasn't open in my mind until I read that book. It's really been just remarkable and, and changed the way I practice medicine. So that I, you know, was a pretty typical doctor. I think I was good at it. I think I was a really, you know, like I say, I was a, a plumber who was really good at sopping up leaks. Uh, you know, I could sop up with the best of them, but uh, after understanding the things that I understood, I couldn't really keep doing that. And I, you know, I've, I've transitioned my practice to a practice where I focus more on, you know, stop the leak altogether. And that's that's really where I've been motivated to go. I think my most remarkable case is a case of uh, an attorney who's my age, who had developed uh, alcoholic cirrhosis of the liver. And he had been hospitalized with uh, what we call encephalopathy, which is you know the ammonia levels in the blood have built up to such a high level uh, that the brain just can't function anymore. The brain becomes you know deranged. And he was very seriously ill, put, put in the intensive care unit. Um, basically everybody in the family and everybody who was caring about him was very worried that he wasn't gonna survive and they were sort of dicey for a while there. He got out of the hospital and uh, they came to see me after he was out of the hospital. And I instructed him on the principles of the starch-based diet. He started out at 239 pounds. A lot of it was a big swollen belly and a lot of you know swelling fluid in his ankles and that sort of thing. And very rapidly, over a course of two months, dropped from 239 pounds to 188 pounds. And again, quite a bit of that was water. I don't want to try to say that that was you know 60 pounds of fat loss in two months but uh, just an amazing amount of response in terms of his well-being. The mind cleared up, the ammonia levels plummeted, his blood test levels essentially normalized to, to those of a normal person with normal liver enzymes. You know, he still has a very damaged liver from the many, many years of chronic disease, but uh, he feels better than he's felt in years, even with this serious illness. The reason I went into medicine was to try to make people feel better and do better. And, you know, it, my experience was very much like Dr. McDougall's. I started to worry I was a bad doctor because my patients never got better. And now that I'm following these principles, I get the results that I wanted in the first place.